Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing um, all signs. This week's going to be a little bit different. Every day I'm going to do all zodiacs, all signs every single day. Uh, I will be pulling some um, zodiac cards though to see if this read is really meant for you. Um, we're going to see how it goes. All right. Uh, it's also going to be the next. Um, Let's see the next 24 hours next 24 next 48 hours what's coming in for the collective all right i uh, know that tarot is for entertainment purposes also to give you some clarity to your situation only take what resonates leave the rest don't make it fit if it doesn't fit and know that roles can be reversed if i say it to you it could be your person um if you like personal read go to venmo jesse ray 21 or roots and rewards.com all right, so what does the collective need to hear for the next 24 to 48? What's coming in for the collective for the next 24 to 48? It's a little different. I've never done this type of read. All right. So possibly in the next 24 hours, 48 hours, you're not going to feel that uh, you have much of a clear direction on where to go. Uh, in your life uh, the ace of swords is in reverse so you may feel <sighs> I'm not here to sugarcoat right this is this is how life is sometimes it's not going to be all rainbows and candy canes so you could be feeling this way right now you feel like you're spiraling out you feel like you have no direction you, you don't have so, and any clarity on the situation uh, in your in your life at this po point you could be an air sign or dealing with an air sign uh, I think you guys are not feeling that things are going your way with that spiraling down um, it feels like you don't feel that your ships are gonna come in your happiness is gonna come in um, you may not be trying to focus too much on on future So maybe you're needing to put a little bit more focus on, on your future. Maybe you're stagnant in your energy right now. Maybe you're sitting still too much. All right, we're gonna see. We're gonna see where it goes. That's 24 to 48, all right. So something's picking at your brain here. <laughs> you may have people, you know, with their opinions and their judgment, uh, clouding your judgment. The two of swords is here. So you may have some, you know, people chirping in your ear, giving you a fucking headache about how they're approaching you. You're showing up indecision of where to go next in your life. Like, there is a lot of, you, you're all fucked up, to be honest here. You're all fucked up with where you're going. You, you're blindfolded. You're blindfolded in the next 24 to 48. You hear a lot of noise. There's a lot of noise going on in your head from outsiders. This is not your, your thoughts. This is not your thoughts. This is other people getting involved in your shit. And you're allowing these people to uh, override your brain living in your brain rent free clouding your judgment you know you have you know where you want to go you do you know but you're allowing these little crows to uh, set you off in a different direction taking you off your path Oof, I'm getting like an actual headache from this this could be regarding finances too, not knowing where to place your uh, finances. You may be hanging on by a thread to your, your finances. You may need to change direction here. Uh, in the page of pentacles here, both of your feet are not planted on the ground. So a lot of you are not grounded at the moment. Maybe you're, not, maybe you're an earth sign. You're not grounded or financially, uh, you may not be that great financially right now. 
more finances are not coming in uh, quickly in the next 48 hours for you. So you, ha you may have some ideas that you want to go forward with, but you don't know what to do. Uh, taking that first step forward, you, you're not sure how to claim where you're going. Page of Pentacles. So this slow progress in the next 48 hours, the slow progress. So the strength card is here, Leo. You may have some two-faced people around you. I see at least two people that are picking at your brain. And it seems like they're distorting your perception of yourself or that idea. It's like a dream killer. Your idea of where you want to go next, this person or people are stopping your progress here. But that's okay. People are gonna do that. But look, you have to internalize and find your strength and not just play lamb to your situation. Keeping your eyes open to who's coming to you in the next 48 hours. You're gonna see people for who they really are, that they're two-faced. They come up very nice. Right? Nice with you, but then they switch off and they go talk about you or they try to dim your light. All right. All right, let's see what else is coming in. So, what's going on? Next 48. Yeah, you guys don't have much clarity here at all. There is no clear direction. What put you here? We're gonna find out what put you here. I think you're just letting people get in your head. The Queen of Swords is in reverse. So you're unclear of where you're going next due to you allowing other people to get in your head about what you should do with your damn life. So you're needing to set up some boundaries for yourself and listen to your intuition and see these people that are trying to dim your light cutting them out, cutting them off, not allowing them to interfere with your direction. Hmm, yeah, right. That's exactly what you're gonna do. Put up your boundaries and start celebrating. Start feeling more smug in your energy, letting go of this energy that's holding you back. Throwing it to the divine and saying, all right, I'm tired of waiting for my ships to come in. I'm tired of not having direction. I'm just going to go with the flow and I'm going to be present. And I'm going, um, I am, you know, you're practicing your positive affirmations. I am abundant. I am rich in my energy. I am loved. Letting go of that judgment or that criticism or that pressure uh, you've put on yourself or other people have put on you. So what's the Two of Swords about? What's the Two of Swords? Two of Swords. Oh, okay. So you could be reminiscing about a past partnership. Someone that couldn't uh, give give to you the way that you wanted them to. So you're sitting in, in lack. You guys are in lack. I don't like it. But listen, shit happens. Not every day is going to be a you know, a bright day for us. So understanding that, you know, we're going to feel bad sometimes. And it's okay to get into your emotions. It's okay to reminisce about past people. But you can't stay in this energy. Which I don't think you are going to stay in this energy because the strength card uh, ends the, the row here. So that's saying, yeah, you're going to be tamed a little bit for two days. And then, boom, you're going to, you're coming out stronger here. You could be a blondie. You could have blonde hair. Ah, okay. 
So you're wanting a rebirth of a connection to come in, but it is slow. This person is slow. This person uh, can't make a decision. One minute they're in, the next minute they're out. So you may be tippy-toeing, tippy-toeing around a situation, or your person's tippy-toeing around a situation with you. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, you could be a Scorpio. Ah, uh, okay. So right now, you don't have, you're lacking uh, feeling loved. You're lacking your emotional fulfillment. Um, you're having a hard time um, expressing your emotions possibly and also starting a new emotional journey for yourself with the ace of cups in reverse so you're not feeling very loved up right now it's so itchy and this elbow i don't know what's going on with this elbow you may be having an issue with your elbow or you may have eczema or psoriasis or your person does So you are gonna pull yourself out in the next two days. You're gonna pull yourself out of this energy. So this is might be the energy that you're feeling right now. And what's coming in is you bossing the fuck up. And you being the, you know, if this is business related, you being that entrepreneur, you being able to create uh, something new for yourself. You're staying more controlled and you're um, taking control, but also allowing yourself to sit back and and watch, watch out, watch how people are approaching you. I think you're gonna start seeing a lot clearer. You might have been in the dark, but shit, you're bossing up here. You could be an Aries. You may like to play chess, or your person may like to play chess. You could be from Wyoming. Uh, all right. So the Nine of Cups goes on with the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups, Nine of Wands, you're defending yourself here. You're saying, bitch, I'm not gonna take anything. I'm gonna step up now. Yeah, I understand I have blockages in front of me, but I know, I'm, I know I'm the boss. I know that I'm valuable, so try me. Try to take away my shine see what happens all right so you're not allowing people to rule your emotions anymore so this four of cups this past person oh okay so you're wanting happiness with this past person could be a water sign king of cups is here scorpio pisces cancer or a capricorn devil card is here so you're wanting a good time. You're wanting a healthy partnership. You're wanting to come back together with this person that totally blindfolded you. You didn't understand what was going on in this connection with this person. They left, you left, and now you're wanting to have celebrations. This water sign may want to take a have a rebirth with you. They do have a lot of feelings for you. Even though they're slow to come in, their, feel, their feelings are building for you. There might have been some toxic traits, toxic tendencies in this situation with you guys. You might feel bound to this person. They were unable to give you that, that emotional fulfillment, though, but they're reaching out their hand again to you. You could be a Leo, a person could be a Capricorn. All right. Hmm. I think you have some ideas of what you're wanting to do, like as far as like business. There's some ideas going on in your mind. You could have a cross on your, your uh, tattoo, on your forearm. Hmm. Yeah, you, you. this person lives rent-free in your head. This person is distant from you, but yet 
you're just like, oh, why do I keep thinking about this person? Why do I keep allowing this person to throw me into confusion? Uh, if this is not a person, this is business. This is like, all right, I'm stressing about, you know, how I'm going to make money. Should I move to the mountains? Should I totally switch up my energy? You got this big fucking crow in your ear, you know, maybe a landlord or, you know, your boss saying, all right, you got to step up. We need you to do more. And you just want to fly the fucking coop. You're just like, get me the fuck out of here. I want to jump. Don't go jumping. All right. Things are going to get better. A person could wear a leather jacket. You could have a leather jacket, black leather jacket with pockets in the front on the chest. Yeah, page of wands, you're not going to leap into things too quickly. You're not going to be impulsive about the decision that you're making. So you're not going to jump too quickly. Now, this past person, there was lack of investment by them. So in the next 24 to 48, is this person coming in? They couldn't invest in you in the past. You couldn't blend families. This person is coming in to heal it. They see as you, you as the star. Oh, they see you as the star. This person is still energetically attached to you. They'll be back in. They see you as nurturing. You may be pregnant. This person may want to have a child with you. Maybe you already have children with you, with him or her. Uh, you could be a Taurus. They see you as very beautiful, very earthy, very nurturing. Uh, you're very well-rounded. You're, you're it. You're the it to this person. Like, you're just gorgeous all around. Mind, body, and soul. And that's why this person is reaching back out at you, wanting to spend time with you wanting to nurture you now there's a magnetic connection between the two of you with the devil card so there's attraction you could make this person a little crazy <laughs> you see his hair there his hair's like all over the place you could make this person feel um, some type of way. You might pull out their shadow aspects. Really, uh, you may be a teacher to this person. Teaching them that they have to be more nurturing. They can't just come in with devil energy and just uh, throw shade and negativity low frequency while you're the fucking empress you're high you're high frequency here so in the next 48 your your energy shifting your energy is shifting from this i don't know what the fuck i'm gonna do i feel all up in my head i got a headache i'm tired i don't know what the fuck this person's doing to this person reaching out to you healing it, throwing some charisma at you, and you feeling nurtured by them, feeling calmer in your energy. Really good. So what else is coming in? What else is coming in? Queen of Cups. So you're filling your own damn cups up. You don't need anybody else to tell you what you need to do and how you need to do it. You're doing it on your own. You're going to stay, no matter who you have in your ear, who you, who's trying to do you dirty, who's two-faced, you're going to stay emotionally investing yourself and still caring for others no matter what they're doing to you. So you're taking the high road. You're not stooping to a, a lower frequency energy. Ah, the Wheel of Fortune, you see? It's going to start turning in your favor. I see a lot of Taurus on this read. Wheel of Fortune got abundance coming in. 
Leo is all over this read. You're taking the bull by its horns and you're getting out of your head and you're progressing towards your abundance. So if you're, you're wanting to change direction in your uh, career, go and do it. Go and do it. Don't fear it. Fly the coop if you gotta fly. Don't fear the outcome. If you're passionate for it, do it. Do it. Four of Pentacles. See, this person's not gonna hold back anymore. Uh-uh, they're not gonna play a dead fish anymore. That past person holding, shielding their heart. No, because you're not accepting it anymore. And that's why they come back in with action and passion. Wanting to communicate with you. All right, so expect some uh, communication with a few people. Some like-minded, some not so much. So who could this be for? Let's see. What signs are sticking out besides Taurus and Leo? Aquarius, air, yeah, air signs, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Aries, heavy on Aries, fire, Leo, Aries, Sag, so there you go with that. Okay. What else does the viewer need to hear for the hard good? Wedding rings. See, you're, you're having union coming in. You have union coming in uh, with one person. Soul connection. You could be married to this person or uh, you just feel a really nice connection with them. There is someone here though. This, this two-faced person here, this girl with the snake. People could try to be charming you. And uh, maybe this person's a narcissist that you you have a narcissistic friend, relative, somebody is a pessimistic. They don't have to be a narcissist, but maybe they're pessimistic. So they're throw, they're trying to throw a wrench in your plans and in your abundance because they lack, they lack that uh, good feel and in, in within their own soul. So, they try to hammer out your success and your abundance. They try to sabotage. Someone's trying to sabotage your abundance, but you know how that works. When we try to sabotage other people's abundance, we actually sabotage ourselves. Okay? <laughs> so, you're gonna be quiet and sitting back and watching this person sabotage themselves when they show their two-face bullshit. So being persistent with your goals, with what's on your mind, being persistent. Uh, seduction. All right, so this person's coming in to uh, seduce you, tempt you, coming in to date and hooking up. So expect some kind of uh, communication, phone call. There's desire here from this person. All right, let's do self-care and then I get you guys out of here. I don't know what we're going to do tomorrow. It's going to be all signs, but I don't know what type of read it's going to be. We're going to worry about that tomorrow, right? Not today. <laughs> Not today. All right, so listen to some music, upbeat music. Make sure the frequency that you're listening to is uplifting beats. Try some chanting. Check on YouTube. Search up chanting. If there's something that you're needing to release, these people, these opinions, this judgment, or needing the uh, needing the guidance of others to the point of sabotaging yourself, do a burning bull ritual. Write down your fears and your insecurities or how people are projecting their energy onto you. Burn it, 
burn it and allow it to go. Don't let that influence your passion and moving forward. If someone's not agreeing with you being with this certain person that's coming back in, you need to choose yourself and choose what you're feeling in your heart instead of allowing other people to dictate the direction uh, where you're going next. All right. And that's what I have for you guys. Hope you enjoyed the read. Hope it did give you some clarity to your situation. Uh, yeah, booking is over on Venmo. Just be patient with getting your reads. All right. I have a list <laughs> and it's growing. Uh, so this is not my only thing to do. I, you know, I'm, uh, I'm taking my real estate class, um, my real estate exam soon. Uh, so I'm just trying to, you know, catch up with things. All right. But I got you. When you're meant to get the message, you'll get it. All right. Just be patient with me. Uh, follow me over on Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. Uh, Roots and Rewards Jesse Ray on TikTok. Uh, we just hit 10,000. Thank you so much. I'm so, I'm so appreciative to you guys. Uh, getting the account back up to 52,000. Uh, it's going pretty good. I'm pretty uh, proud of uh, where we're at right now. Uh, remember, write down your zodiac signs below. If I have extra time and energy, I will pick uh, individual signs to do. And this week is going to be all signs straight across the board. I want to see how the views, uh, the views are with uh, these type of reads. And it's going to be different every single day. This one, 24 to 48, never done it before, came out pretty good. Uh, so that's what I got for you. Make sure that you're keeping yourself in high regard and keeping your mental state in the present moment. All right, guys, have a great day. Have a great week. I'll see you on the other side. Bye.